All right, I need y'all to hold. Y'all need y'all to do a three-way oh, over okay. here. Sure. Sounds like fun. <laughs> <laughs> hey, everybody! Welcome back to Serve Neat. We're doing another Thursday Thursday episode. I'm here at Villa Europa, where Peggy's going to make us three fantastic drink. So come on in and let's check it out. All right, so now we're inside. We're going to make three different drinks here in just a little bit. But first, let's talk about the restaurant first. It is kind of a um, European melting pot, kind of, because we have a little bit of everything yeah. from over there. Italian, German, American, and then every once in a while we'll get some, you know, if you throw in the Cordon Bleu and the French onion soup, we've got French, France, you know, so right. um, it is, it is a melting pot of Europe and um, uh, just like the United States basically is. <laughs> and I think it's fantastic, by the way, my favorite thing here to eat is the number 13. I don't know if it's changed the numbers on it, but it's the potwurst. And um, I pretty much get it here like every single time I come in. It's absolutely fantastic. It's perfectly grilled. And then you can, you know, choose the sides of sauerkraut or potato salad or anything like that. Yep, that is definitely a favorite. Probably one of the other favorites is the Jaeger Schnitzel, which um, is the breaded pork cutlet with the mushroom sauce on top of it. That's probably the most popular item on the menu. That's my mom's favorite. Is it? Yeah. <laughs> she gets that all the time. Do you have any like specials going on? And or... We do have daily specials, which will, um, uh, usually include a fresh fish every day um, and then whatever Annalisa who's our Omi um, to everyone uh, feels like cooking for the day like for the month of October we're not able to have an Oktoberfest this year however we are going to bring as much of the atmosphere in as we can with um, the special entrees right. um, and extra things that we would normally not have but only during Oktoberfest right. so we'll be doing that the whole month of October um, we also have um, seasonal drink specials. Um, we'll have, um, like right now, we're doing our summer libations, which right, it's fixing to end, and we're going to go into our, our fall um, libation specials, which will include, you know, some other, you know, nice um, um, autumn-y drinks, you know. So, uh, haven't quite gotten to that menu yet, so I can't really tell you what's going to be on it yet, but so, look out for it. We usually will post those. Um, on our Facebook and Instagram pages. Okay, and then we can put the link to the Facebook and the Instagram pages on there too, so you can simply click on that um, while you're watching. How about you? How long have you been bartending? How long have you been doing everything that you've been doing here? Well, I've pretty much done it all. I started here when I was about 15, and um, I won't tell you how old I am now. <laughs> well, let's just say it's been a long time. You know, I've washed dishes, I've bussed tables, I've bartended. Um, I'm managing most of the time now. I've waited tables, you know, doing you do whatever what you do whatever needs to be done. Right. As as a family restaurant, this has been in the family since the early '70s. Um, so, um, unfortunately, my sister passed away a year ago, and so now mom, who's 83 this year, is still cooking up a storm in the back, and we're all doing what we can to make sure that Billy Ropa stays around for a good while. And each room has a different atmosphere. It makes you feel a little bit different. Each has its own name, you know. Of course, you know, like everyone in Augusta, we've got a golf room, which is our gazebo room, and we've got an Alpenstube, which everybody loves to use as a photo op with the Neuschwanstein Castle in mm -hmm. front, of, you know, in the back. So that's that's a great room. Um, and then we also have a banquet room where we're able to seat up to 50 people. Nice. Um, so, and we can do. You know, we're very fortunate right now during COVID to be able to have all these dining rooms. There's seven different dining rooms plus our beer garden. Right. So um, we're able to Keep socially separate. distance everyone right now. Well, let's go into the drinks. One of the things that I think that um, no one has um, is the Rudesheimer coffee. Today we're going to be making a Rudesheimer coffee. Um, it is made with Aspa, which is a German brandy, and it's from Rudesheim on the Rhine in Germany. Very popular place. They come in these um, really pretty um, cups. We start out with a couple of sugar cubes and we add just a tad bit of 151 to be able to caramelize our um, sugar. We light it. And I don't know if you can see it, but it's flamed. 
Usually I'll put a little bit too much 151 rum in there and I'll, the fire ends up, I end up doing a little dance stomping out the fire on the, um, on the rugs. There we go. All right, so once that gets caramelized, then we add a shot of our aspa. All right. Megan, grab me the, sorry, I forgot something else again. Chocolate underneath that cabinet. Our coffee. A little whipped topping, the whipped cream, and then a little bit of shaved cocoa on the top. All right, that's a Rudesheimer coffee. All right, so we're going to talk about this drink, and then what flavors do you would would you say is associated with this drink? Well, Asbach is a brandy, and it's a little bit on the sweet side, and then of course you've got your coffee and your whipped cream. So, and then your, your chocolate, a little bit of chocolate on the top. So it's almost nice. a little mocha flavored. Uh, it's, a, it's a really good coffee. Yeah. So uh, I never had a coffee that was on flames before. So let's try that. The cup is hot. <laughs> I was going to say, be careful. It <laughs> could be hot on the edges. It is really good. It has a, yeah, that coca flavor to it. That's, Oh, that is delicious. Like Christmassy kind of. Yeah, uh, yeah. Oh, b right in front of the fire. Which we have a fireplace here too. Oh, that's great. In one of our dining rooms. That's really, really hot. <laughs> <laughs> coffee, mm -hmm. well you've got, you know, everything was kind of burned and, right. and well, the coffee was fresh. So nice. gotta use fresh coffee. It has that. like a little bit of bitterness and a sweetness to it too. Oh, yes, I can. You could drink that? Yes. And the alcohol just tops it off right there because you know alcohol makes almost everything better our next drink we're making is um everybody has them but uh we may do them a little bit differently so we're going to do uh, our villa lemon drop our next drink is a villa europa lemon drop the way that we make ours here is we start out with some sliced lemons now if you if you come in and you ask for a lemon drop you need to ask for the villa lemon drop we start off with lemon slices, a little bit of sugar. I like to use sugar in the raw. And then we set it aflame and let these caramelize as we make our, our drink itself. Yep. Then we just add a little ice. We use some citrus vodka. We like to use liqueur 43 in ours. Give it a shake. Lemons finish becoming like candy, full of 151. It's still burning, isn't it? take the little bit that's left from that and pour it into the drink which sweetens it up a little bit more and then you shoot the shot and eat the lemon after that so all right we got a villa Europa lemon drop there we go let's try it
as we say in Germany, Prost. Prost. Good. Another fiery drink. That was really, really good. Um, the sweetness is really amazing in that. Definitely different than I ever had one right. before. Right. So, like I said, it's just, you know, lemon drop's a lemon drop, but we make it just a little bit different. Right. This drink is just called the Villa Jaeger Bomb. Everybody knows what a Jaeger Bomb is. Um, when I was about 15, I credit myself for bringing Jägermeister to the United States. So don't let anybody else tell you they did it. That was me. Okay. So, <laughs> so anyway, we just, we have a pint glass and we add our Jaeger and then we add our bomb of your choosing. Our bomb is a monster. Now, if you let it sit for a while, you take a chance on brain freeze. So this is the way we drink our Jaeger bombs. We like to share. So as many people, two to three is usually all the heads you can get in here, but um, this is how we drink them and everybody drinks them all at once at the same time. So Billy Jaeger bomb, let's do it. All right, Billy bomb. All right, ready, set, go. Oh, oh, all right. Yeah. So I think that's a little bit different than most yeah. people. Yeah. That's and always it was fun. <laughs> so there you have it. Three fantastic quick drinks that you can have here at Villa Europa. But remember, if you are going to do the lemon drop, make sure. Just ask for the Villa lemon drop so they'll make sure to flame it for you, you know. Um, boots of beer are always available by the liter or the two liter. Um, and those so, are fun to drink. Oh yeah, they are. Um, and don't forget to like and subscribe. And again, we'll put the Instagram, Facebook in the description down below. It'll be listed throughout this video also, so you can see that and check those out. Um, again, like and subscribe. And um, as always, serve it neat. Thanks. <laughs>